Hey, good evening, Jennifer and Rick. I'm at Breckenridge Franklin Elementary, which, like other JCPS schools, was closed today, and it will be closed tomorrow for Election Day. And it's quiet here now, but I'd be willing to bet there's going to be a bit of a line here in 12 hours when the polls open at 6 a.m. I'm excited, but exhausted. At the Louisville Democratic Party headquarters on Monday, some volunteers packed flyers for one final drop on the doorsteps of voters. Others took calls from voters who needed rides to the polls. We're not talking about these crazy culture war issues that have been just permeating this election cycle. It's about diving into what the actual issues are that matter to people. It's public safety, it's infrastructure, it's the economy. Local party chair Logan Gaddy says Democrats are motivated to elect Kamala Harris as the nation's first female president and to ensure Donald Trump's defeat. I mean, we've been distributing yard signs for uh, Kamala Harris and we've put out close to 10,000 here. Uh, it's been an unbelievable amount of support that we've seen. Um, and people are excited. I mean, we've been sending signs around the, the state to areas of the state that you wouldn't really think about it. Jefferson County Republican Party Chair Don Fitzpatrick feels equally good about Republicans' chances up and down the ballot, thanks to what he says are good local and state candidates this year. I think the uh, candidates have been working hard. I mean, they've been out knocking on doors. They've been, you know, uh, assembling people that care about their community that are out there with them. Fitzpatrick believes Republican voters are also excited to get a Republican back in the White House. There's enthusiasm out there. There are people that want to see change, and we think our candidates are going to deliver that change. Fitzpatrick was not ready to make a prediction about the passage of Amendment 2, which would allow state lawmakers to use public dollars to fund charter schools and private school vouchers. But he did have this to say. So we're hoping that the Amendment 2 passes and that it provides the kind of choice for people, you know, both students and parents at all spectrums. Here in Kentucky, the polls open at 6 a.m. and close at 6 p.m. Back to you.